Sean is... Wow, that was last year's Rammies 2022. I was there. I'm so glad they didn't show me. So we're <laughs> here with we're here with Sean, Sean Townsend, president and CEO of the Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. We got to make sure we include you in the reel next time. So we, we, we'll, we'll get you this year. <laughs> it was a wonderful celebration, and it always is a wonderful celebration. But you know, things have uh, had to change recently. Uh, you and a lot of restaurants, you all were supportive of restaurants when everyone had to pivot in terms of what the, how the pandemic impacted uh, eating establishments. But things are bouncing back. Talk a little bit about what you all have done to support restaurants as they're trying to uh, come back strong. Yeah, I mean, the, the Rammies, as you mentioned, it's a time where we uh, highlight and honor um, uh, the industry in, in, in a number of different categories. We have about 20 categories where we, we highlight the excellence. Um, as you know, D.C., the DMV region, we have um, a diverse culinary cuisine here. Uh, you can pretty much find anything these days. Um, and so this is a moment where we pause and 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 highlight uh the industry in a way that no other region does in the country um and like you mentioned we've had to pivot um a number of times over the past couple years and uh we've also had to change uh some of the categories in which we we award um uh our, our award recipients so you know over the years especially during the pandemic you've seen best streetery best takeout um just to highlight how the industry has changed as a result of the times and um and you'll see uh the categories continue to evolve this time around as well where we have um now included uh five public voting categories um we've added best bar to it uh, so the public had an opportunity to vote on these category on the nominees and they've also had the opportunity to vote on the winners of these categories. Um, and in this area, you do not have to be a member of the Restaurant Association uh, in order to be nominated or to win. So this is one way that we are um, intentionally trying to uh, recruit new members to the association. And the event is July 9th at the uh, Walter Washington Convention Center. That's right. And, and talk about how anybody in the city in the metro area can come and attend that event yeah yeah it is it is definitely open to the public uh although it is it is an industry event we tend to see lots of people from the public who love uh restaurants who are foodies bloggers um you know you can you can definitely go to the rammies.org and purchase a ticket uh so i look forward to seeing you know uh, lots of folks there one of the things that I do as a lifestyle reporter for the Washington Informer is to do restaurant reviews. So I visited some new places that have opened in recent years and some that have been established for a while. But one of the things that I have come across is that um, one of the things our restaurants are still always looking for are staff. And I think our viewing and listening audience needs to know their jobs out there with the restaurants in the metro area and yeah. think about that. And yeah. I know that you're working with restaurants to make sure that they're marketing themselves properly, not only for diners, but as good employers. Yeah, absolutely. We, you know, of course, Rammy's is a huge deal, uh, but that is not all that we do here at RMW and uh, training, um, providing training for our members is, is one of our key areas. Um, you know, like like you said, you know, providing that marketing 101 training, uh, just just providing ways that our businesses, our food retailers can sharpen their knives and, and, and sharpen their, their businesses in order to best serve the public. Um, focusing on a pipeline. We've seen many um, uh, employees in the industry 
uh, during the pandemic and afterwards, leave the area, uh, go back to school, um, change professions. And now, you know, although we are continuing to uh, talk about ways to retain the staff that we have and, and, and find ways to elevate the staff that we have, it is critical at this time for us to, to look at ways to create the next pipeline of, of workers and not just, um, you know, we want people to know that it's not just a place where you can come make some extra cash. Uh, there are some really good positions, uh, really good jobs in this industry, and you can make a career out of it. So, uh, and it starts in high school, it starts in college, and, and that's what we're focusing on by, by creating a new pipeline in the industry. And one of the things that I enjoyed this year with the nominees and just hyping up uh, the Rammies, you've had some wonderful reels on Instagram. I love those. And not only are you showing the patrons having a good time, you're showing the staff enjoying what they're doing. Um, and you recently had um, a bar event where, you know, it was about cocktails and drinks and everything. So um, I think it's very great the way you're bringing people in. Again, it's a wonderful marketing strategy that you're showing. Yeah, we do a big nominations reception um you know this year was at the hamilton live in the basement and uh some of the nominees were able to display uh their cocktails their food options um and like you said yeah we we've gotten uh, very strategic about our marketing shout out to the team um and we you know we highlight rmw and the rammies and our members and in different ways whether it's pride month or juneteenth or any of the other um, you know, events that folks in town are celebrating, we try to uh, be inclusive um, to, to those days as well and, and, and market the association and the things that we are doing um, to help the industry. One of the things that I've noticed also around the metro area that is really um, piggybacking, for lack of a better term, with what you all do in terms of uh, profiling different restaurants, you're seeing neighborhood and county oriented restaurant weeks. You know, PG County has one uh, in Fairfax, uh, right near where I live uh, in Silver Spring in Montgomery County, they have had one. Do you interact with those? Do you support those? It seems like a wonderful way to continue to build up uh, knowledge and attract uh, people to dine out a little more. Anything that is promoting seats and butts, I mean, butts and seats. <laughs> Yes. at restaurants uh we're all for it so yes we have in the past uh supported some of the smaller uh uh more local restaurant weeks um of course you know rmw's restaurant week uh you know we promote is in the slowest months of the year uh for restaurants which is august and january um and we we're currently advertising restaurant week now for august we've got about 200 restaurants uh, in the region uh, signed up. And um, yeah, so we we definitely support other restaurant weeks as well. But we we try to we try to uh, recruit those same restaurants for ours as well. But uh, no, anything to anything to promote restaurants in the region, we are all for it. Well, it's good to know that um, in August, late summer, uh, there will be your restaurant week. So people need to keep an eye out on that and check out your social media to make sure that they know the dates that that's going to occur. Can you talk a little bit about um, new restaurants coming in town and making sure they know about the Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington and that they need to join? I thought when you said that to be to even be a contender for the Rammies, you don't have to be a member of the Restaurant Association. So that in itself is a good, wonderful recruitment tool. If if right. you you know think of it as that way, what are some of the other things that you're doing to bring people in? Because I don't think that a lot of restaurants know about all the benefits beyond the Rammies. You mentioned workshops and ongoing training. I think that's so important to make sure that restaurants have a long run. That's right. And we we want to be uh, uh, that platform to help businesses, um, specifically food retailers in the region. Uh, you know, the, the most important priority for me is meeting meeting our operators where they are. Um, and most times they're in the kitchen or in the restaurant. 
And so, you know, over the past couple months since I've taken over the uh, organization, I've spent a lot of time in restaurants, whether it's big or small. Um, you know, I was just at Philippe Chow uh, last night, a uh, new restaurant that just opened at the wharf. Uh, I went to see Chef Ramsey cut the ribbon uh, and asked him to join the association myself. Yeah. Um, I've, I've met with, uh, you know, there's a group of, of, of black operators who meet, meet, you know, once a month to talk about challenges and, and share information. I've been meeting with them as well. Uh, so I, I've been focused on meeting folks where they are and um, explaining the benefits of the association and encouraging them to be involved. We, we're, we're in the middle of a legislative uh, uh, battle. We are advocating mm -hmm. down at, downtown at the, at the Wilson building in DC uh, for, you know, with tip wages and service charges and uh, just having discussions with elected officials across the region on how we can support uh, the restaurant industry is our mission. And we want our operators, we need our operators to be just as involved as we are, because as you know, uh, it is one thing for me to advocate, uh, but it is another thing for our operators to advocate for themselves. And, it, and we feel as though uh, our elected officials need to hear from them. So we, you know, it's an opportunity for operators to get involved um, in a number of ways. And, and I've been, you know, focused on sharing that message with everybody that I can. Sean Townsend, President and CEO of the Restaurant Association of Metro Washington. Thank you for being with us. Again, the Rammies, July 9th at the Convention Center. Uh, check out the social media for the Rammies, for the, for the Restaurant Association of Metropolitan Washington, because you want to be there. That's Thanks right. again, Sean. Thank you.